Hello everyone, I'm Issa Mazoud. Uh, I'm solution architect at Decision Brain. And uh, today I will demo uh, an application about advanced manufacturing planning and scheduling. So let's log in to the application. So for the specific applications, we have um, two modules, one for master planning, one for detailed scheduling. So let's select the scenario that has master planning solution. So this is the main master planning dashboard. So you can uh, check out the uh, most important KPIs here that has been highlighted with these widgets. And you can see all the detailed KPIs on this specific table. Um, in this dashboard, you can as well uh, run different tasks like here running the master planning optimization to recompute the planning, compute KPIs in case you want to update manually the solution and rerun the KPI. You can also run some, some other specific tasks. So once you have seen the, uh, the KPIs overall, you have an idea about the quality of the solution, you probably want to go a bit deeper into analyzing the solution. So one first step is to check out how we uh, satisfy the demands. So we have one table with all the details, demand by demand, how much has been satisfied and, and uh, what is the service level regarding the tardiness and uh, about the delivery time window, how, how the delivery has been done. But you can check out uh, some more aggregated uh, information, which is more interesting in this situation, where you can check SKU by SKU and aggregated information about the demand satisfaction. Uh, you can check out the total demanded quantity, how much has been shipped and how, how much has been uh, lost. Uh, you can also check out the same information in a different uh, aggregation where you can check by demand priority and by customer how much has been satisfied and how much uh, has been lost. So this is for the demand. You can also check out information about the inventory and how the inventory is, is being uh, covered by, by your solution. So let's, for example, check out the, uh, the warehouse. So overall, this is the view that will tell you the situation on the different warehouses for each time period, how much of the warehouse is being, is being used. Uh, in this specific use case, the warehouse constraint is really uh, very tight. So it's really important to monitor the situation on the warehouses. Next, you can also check out more details about the material inventory and movements by checking the uh, the inventory level and movement time period by time period. So you can check out the outgoing uh, movement and the, the, uh, the in uh, movement, but you can also check out information about the, the safety stock level. Here you can see it by the uh, blue line and you can check out uh, how much of this uh, safety stock has been satisfied. So on the production side, the most important view is the uh, planning board. So this is what will show you the uh, capacity used by the uh, different processes and by the production planning. So uh, this is aggregated by, uh, by plant, then by work center, and then by machine group, et cetera. And you, go, you can go until the, the machine level. And this is the main view that will help you to check out the users of the machines. A very interesting view is the editable planned operation. And this is what allows the user to uh, manually change the master planning solution. This can be done by selecting one of the planned operations. And then we can uh, either delete it, we can also edit it, but we can also create a new one. So if you go to edit, we have a custom widget that will help us easily uh, edit the existing planned operations, typically by changing uh, either the quantity or the, or the duration. So let's say we change the quantity and the duration is updated uh, accordingly. We have also some aggregated information that are very interesting to check out the how much the tools are used and how much of the time has been used for setup. So, now, once we run the detailed scheduling and we can uh, check out the quality of the detailed scheduling solution. Similarly, we have uh, main detailed scheduling um, uh, dashboard 
that will allow us to check out the KPIs, the main KPIs. And by the way, this application being scenario based, we can compare different scenarios. So let's select another one. In order to do so, we need to um, validate and to move to the uh, scenario comparison mode. And we have the option to select a second scenario. So we can select this one. We can also easily switch between scenarios by clicking this button. And once we are in a view, uh, it can be a graphical view or a table view. We can move to scenario comparison mode, like by pushing this button. And then we can see the highlighted differences between the scenarios. And here, for example, we can see that in terms of tardiness, uh, the second scenario is worse than the first scenario. Uh, but for other KPIs like uh, like lost revenue, it's it's a bit better. So here, the the user should make the uh, the balance between scenarios and uh, make the trade off between the two different scenarios to take to select the best one. So uh, another important view about the so we have also the same information about the demand satisfaction, demand fulfillment, and the inventory, but we do have the scheduling gun chart with which is uh, specific to the detail scheduling. So in the scheduling gun chart, we can see the uh, different production activities with their exist uh, exact uh, start time and end time. When we go over one activity, we can see the uh, more details about the activity. Uh, we have also more information in the Gantt chart regarding the, the pegging. So what's the pegging is the link between different activities. So we have semi-finished products and we have finished products on the bottom. And there is um, a production to consumption uh, relationship between those two. So we can see this by uh, enabling this mode and we can check out how the uh, products are being produced and consumed. So as you can see, we have blue and red uh, links. So the red links will highlight issues about the maturity and, and shelf life. So this product has specific maturity and shelf life that need to be respected. And when it's red, it means that uh, either one of these uh, is is uh, is violated. Um, also, so once we select one of these activities, we can check out other views on the bottom that are synchronized with the Gantt chart. So let's let's select a different one. So these views are are updated. So regarding the pegging and the links about production and consumption, so we can see it via the links here, but we can see more details. Uh, in the pegging information. So here we see additionally to the uh, semi-finished products, we can also see information about the raw material as well. So if we select this one, we can see the movements of material uh, that are impacting this specific activity. And with different types, uh, with different types of movements, they can be uh, inflow, stock input, etc. So if we look into the uh, activity list here, so once we select a specific production activity, we can see more details here. So information about its quantity, the start date and date, but we can also see more interesting information about the, the stock coverage. So typically we can see the start coverage of the activity. So the, the coverage at the start, at the beginning of the activity, we can see information about the coverage at the end of the activity, at the end of the horizon for the specific SKU, et cetera. And all this information is recomputed dynamically when you update the scheduling gun chart. So you can, you can move activities around. So by selecting one activity and drag and drop. So you can see I can drag and drop. And in some situation I can't, because the machine is not compatible, but I can move it to, to another machine like here. And once I'm satisfied with my movements, I can run a repair function that will uh, repair the start and end times of, of these, uh, these activities, as you will see here in a short uh, moment. So you can see that now the start and time are, uh, are correct and the, all the activities has been moved accordingly. Um, you, we have also another Gantt chart that will show the usage of tools and that will highlight situations where the tools are overused. So whenever we select an activity here, we can see the, the tools that are impacted by these specific uh, activities. So 
this is about the existing views, but the user can also create new dashboards and new views. But there are many other aspects that I didn't cover in this uh, demo. And you can ask uh, if you need further information about them.